Growing up with spina bifida, Bill Brownridge forged a deep love of sport, particularly hockey, on the family farm near Vaughan. Though Brownridge wasn't able to wear skates, his parents couldn't keep him off their outdoor rink. While he couldn't follow the footsteps of his older brother Bob, who played in the minors in New York, Bill made a lasting mark in the hockey world in his own way. Brownridge became an artist and an author, with much of his work drawing inspiration from the outdoor hockey games of his youth. Well, I guess it would be, be my whole fascination with motion. Um, you know, growing up uh, because of the way I was born with all these problems, uh, I had to uh, do a lot of sitting, both in my youth and in my, in my adult years. And of course, so I was, I've been totally fascinated with, with motion and uh, in all sports. Brownridge believes that the time he spent stationary in his youth made him more attuned to the effects of light and color. His ability to convey the motion of the game coupled with his vivid impressionistic style has won him many admirers throughout the hockey world. His work is part of many private collections and featured in the homes of NHL players and coaches. I started out, my inspiration was again motion and hockey and outdoor hockey. And then, of course, uh, I went to uh, painting naturalistic painting. And then I progressed to falling in love with heavy texture. And I it traveled overseas to visit some of the great painters. And, and uh, Van Gogh was, has been my hero as far as great painters are concerned because I loved his, uh, his way of painting. He did not worry about the individual blade of grass or, or green leaf. He wanted the spirit of whatever he was painting. And he was very spontaneous, painting on the spot. And so I have tried without being, you know, subconsciously trying to emulate Van Gogh. <laughs> Beyond his canvas, Brownridge created the logo for the Calgary Centennials junior hockey team. And he also designed the primary Calgary Flames uniforms worn from 1994 to 2000. He was commissioned in 1981 to create 10 serographs for the official 1988 Calgary Olympic bid book and film presented to the International Olympic Committee. Brownridge supervised the creation of the annual Calgary Stampede posters for eight years. Because he wasn't able to skate, Brownridge wasn't able to play organized ice hockey with one exception. The day he backstopped the Vaughn Cougars to the 1953 Junior C North Line Championship. I did play in an actual uh, junior game in North Battleford, a final game. And I played in my moccasins with rubber shoes over top. And um, we won the game 3-2. And we were a bunch of ragtag kids from a small, actually hamlet called Vaughn. And you know, kids four feet high to six feet two were playing, and uh, it just so happened that they had to call me in, uh, and uh, they got permission from the league to let me play goal without skates, and we won. So I, I would say that's probably the greatest moment as far as me and outdoor hockey is concerned. You know. That story was the inspiration for the Moccasin Goalie, an illustrated children's book that became the first in a series of books that focus on inclusion and love of hockey at the grassroots level. In 2000, Brownridge's paintings were the catalyst for the creation of Hockey Day in Canada, which celebrates the grassroots of hockey. He also continues to inspire those around him through his art, his approach to life, and his passion for hockey. He really embodies everything that the sport should be, all the good qualities that we can all teach our children and anybody we contact to. And that's what his legacy is from his painting to his books and raising kids and everything was about the, the fun element to it, knowing it is a privilege to play the game and particularly in our family. Every time we look at one of Bill's paintings, it kind of helps us ground that back. And I think with my kids, when they all lived at, when they both lived at home, um, we sent the message, it was like, 
if you guys ever have anything to complain about in life, anything ever throws you a curveball, uh, think of Billy. You're going to get thrown curveballs in your life, and it's all about how you manage them. And that's I've learned as a person, and my kids have learned as a person, and uh, that's what that's what Billy means to me. Installed in the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame on September 24th, 2022, William Bill Brownridge.